It's me, GV. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we were traveling with Dean Domino to his location to activate the gala event. We are very close, but we need to convince him to stay, and to do that, we need to activate the security hologram so that all the ghosts don't converge on his location when he activates the speaker systems. Before we activate that terminal, I'm sure there are going to be a bunch of uh, Sierra Madre chips, and indeed, there were 25, so I was correct. All right. We have a locked desk here that is easy. Kind of want to force lock that. I knew that would happen. I freaking knew it. 85% chance that it would be able to force lock it, and it breaks. 15% chance. Like, we never get that lucky in VATS. Well, we're never going to know what the hell happens in there unless we get the perk where we can lock pick something again, but that's a waste of a perk. You said that already, Dean. Let's activate the security station here. Sierra Madre security protocol. Activate hologram. Warming up projector. That is one out of two. I'm not sure where the other one is, but hopefully we can follow these rooftops because I think we have to go through that hole over there. In fact, I know we do. So let's cross this. That dude is friendly, right? Yes, okay, because the other ones were not friendly. Let's open up this dresser and find absolutely nothing inside. All right, we're going to be moving over here. Or are we? Because Ooh, door to ruin store. Um, let's see. We need to get over that hole, but I'm not sure how in the world we're going to do that. So let's do some exploring in the meantime. Looks like this is going to go up a level. Maybe we're going to have to cross over there on the rooftop. Let's open this dresser, find nothing inside again. And nothing inside this whole entire place. Can we open this nightstand? Sierra Madre chips. At least you gave me something for my troubles. Okay, let's see. How in the world are we going to get up there? Um, hmm. I might just have to figure it out, but there's a whole bunch of stuff up there. Let's just try one quick thing. Let's go up here, and let's go out here, and can we cross the rooftops? Doesn't look like we can. Well, let me figure it out, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I entered a place called the Ruin Cafe, which is in the area that we were just in, and this dude is here. Hologram vendor. The flickering hologram stares at you expectantly. Do you have anything I can buy? Indeed he does. Ooh, pre-war money. Pre-war money, why is he selling Why is he selling money? Uh, let's see what else he has. Stim packs too, okay. Even though, oh, we have zero caps, right. But can we, hmm. So he took all of our caps, Elijah, when we came into this place. So we can't buy anything with caps. But people were saying you can use pre-war money. But it looks like we have none. Alright, cancel transaction because we're not going to be able to do anything with that, unfortunately. Can we take these Sierra Madre chips? This dude doesn't care. Alright, well, uh, yeah, let's take all of those. Surprising that he doesn't take Sierra Madre chips himself. That's kind of odd. You know what would be funny? If we could actually uh, pickpocket this guy. Yeah, we can't. That would make no sense at all, but I just wanted to see. Alright. Uh, actually, is there pre more money in here? I do want to see. There is. I do want to see if we can buy stuff with it. Because there's got to be a reason for this. Unless we get our uh, pre-war money back. Nope. Okay. Cancel transaction. Whatever. And he has no caps to for us to sell, too. So, yeah. Uh, some right away here. Alright. So, I'm going to assume this place leads to the top. And that's how we get over to the other hologram terminal station. Let's see. Some tape in there. We don't need that tape. Let's see. To the right, nothing. To the left. Yes, stairs. That is exactly what we want to see. We want to go up and up and up and up. Although that door over there leads to what I think is where uh, I was before and I saw another entrance to this place. Anything in this? Okay, another force lock that's 85% and last episode we actually failed this. There we go, that makes sense. Thank you, game. And of course we get nothing. Alright, what about in the wardrobe? Bobby pin, shot glass. What about this wardrobe? Nothing. Alright, what do we have over here? Presta del Sol. The ghost people leave supplies as traps. Huh, interesting. I haven't seen one of those. I have seen your, uh, whatchamacallit, though, Dean Domino stashes and all that sort of stuff. Alright, so we can go through there, but there was actually another door over here. Let's just see where that leads. Um, okay, what do we have in here? A desk with one singular Sierra Madre chip. That's going to help us out in the long run significantly. Nothing in there. You know what I notice a lot about the Dead Money DLC is there's a lot of locations where there's just nothing of interest, like this. Other than that hologram guy, there's not really anything in here. Stim packs, though, wonderful. We could use all the stim packs we could possibly get our hands on. Alright, we have another door to Puesta del Sol south there. Was the other one south? Let's see. South. Let's go out this one and see where it leads us. 
because we are looking to go yeah okay this is yes this is where we wanted to go sweet all right and hopefully that's the terminal right there it is indeed yes all right for once things worked out the way that i thought they would okay let's go ahead and activate the hologram that should make dean happy let's grab these chips let's uh loot this place really quick before we go and talk to christine and then finish this event let Dean know it's safe for him to get to his gala position. Sweet, we might not even have to go back to where we were. Well, now, if it... Yep. Um, both holograms are on now. It's safe for you to get to your position. You powered the holograms up? Well, yeah, that's pretty good protection. Sure worked at the fountain. Vera kept the ghost people away. But, uh, how do I know the power won't suddenly go out and... I don't know. This still sounds risky to me. For me. Man, this whole DLC is just like convincing the people around you to do what you need them to do. Okay. Vera's stayed powered. Yeah, Vera's stayed power up since the bombs fell. Those holograms will too. Well, yeah. You got a point. All right. Look, if the holograms are here to keep me company, then I don't mind staying here for a while. But listen, when this thing goes off, try and get into the Sierra Madre without me. You'll wish you hadn't. Believe me, buddy, I do not care about the money. You have lost Dean's unclean living perk. You know what? I'm not too strong up about that. Level up inbound. Do we get a perk? I don't think so, because we got one at level one. We might, though. Because we got one at level one, and it's 20, so it should be every odd level. Uh, anyways, lockpick is 100, so science is 100 as well. And now what are we going to put up? Barter? No. Energy weapons? No. Explosives? No. Medicine? Maybe, because honestly, these stim packs are not doing a lot. They're not healing me uh, a lot at all, so that's that might be a possibility. Melee weapons? No. Repair? Uh, maintain any weapons and apparel in addition. Repair allows you to create items and guns and ammunition. Now you see, usually I don't pick up a lot of duplicates of weapons because I get a lot of unique weapons, so I don't even know if repair is that worth it. But let's see what else we have. Speech? Nope. I will not put speech up on Arizona. Survival? No. Unarmed? No. So it's either between repair or medicine. And honestly, I think medicine is going to help us out more in the long run. Yeah, so we'll do that. Okay. And we do get a perk. Let me figure out which one we're going to get. Alright, so before we pick our perk, I just wanted to say that uh, this one right here, The Professional, there's a little potted plant behind that guy. That's a reference to the movie Leon the Professional. I've never seen it, but I know it's very popular, and it stars a young Natalie Portman. Uh, anyways, okay, so what I'm thinking is it's either between Grim Reaper Sprint or what was the other one I wanted? Sniper, because I always go for the head and vats. But Grim Reaper Sprint is pretty good, too. If you kill a target in Vats, 20 action points are restored upon exiting Vats. Let's go with that, because it is a level 20 perk. So, we would have had to wait till now to get it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, now we just need to go back to Christine and convince her to do her part. Uh, I will see you guys there. Alright, now what's good is I think we've already done the hard part. We've already, because we have to go the same place for Christine, if I'm right. So, we've already cleared out all the ghosts. So, this should be the easy part. Uh, now, before we talk to Christine, we're going to run through our uh, weapons and armor really quick. Because we're out of a lot of ammo here. So, we have one shot. Wow, that uses 308 ammo? Damn it! I didn't realize that. I didn't want to waste 308 ammo on that stupid auto rifle. So, we're not even going to use that. Let's see. Cosmic Knife goes down there. Gas Bomb goes down here. Where do I usually put my grenades and stuff? Down here, I guess. Hollow Rifle we'll put over there. Knife Spear we're not going to use. Poli Police Pistol we'll put up there. Uh, throwing Knife Spear. Yeah, so we're pretty low on tons and tons of ammo. Um... Yeah, the only thing we really have is the hollow rifle, so we really need to look out for ammo. And apparently we have no options here. I think I did pick up something that I wanted to drop. Let's see. Counterfeit passport? I think that's what I picked up. But I'm not sure what that's going to be used for. Carl's journal. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to Christine. Christine is looking at the fountain, her eyes narrow, she then scans the courtyard perimeter, gauging the distance. She glances at your wrist and back at the fountain. You think he's using the Pip-Boy to establish the projector connection? She nods and raises her hands, palms facing each other, then rotates in a 180 degree arc and back again. Think he might be close then. Any idea where? Ooh! 
This is kind of getting to what I was saying, like if we could find Elijah a couple of episodes back. She surveys the area, focusing upwards. She glances at the casino frown. She then looks west, then east. Christine holds out her hand and motions at your pit boy. What? What do you want? She frowns and snaps her fingers at your pit boy. I don't want you messing with this. Christine snarls, makes a dismissive wave, and goes back to studying the fountain intently, then looks at the casino, then the fountain again. Why do you think he wants you to go to the Puesta del... Mm, you know what, we're just gonna say... Wait, can't you communicate some other way? Can you write? Christine frowns and pauses and traces one of the scars on her head with her finger. She then makes a motion as if picking up a pencil, tries to write, and then shakes her head. Something to do with the surgery. She pauses, then draws a jagged symbol like electricity in the air, then puts on an odd, staring face. She keeps the blank face for a second, then slowly blinks, looks around. She looks at her hand, shakes them, and lets them go limp. And we don't have enough medicine. I had other questions. Okay, as long as there's no other speech options, I think we should travel together. Christine nods. Christine has given you the signal interference perk. This perk grants you a short period of time near a speaker before your bomb collar starts to activate, as well as increasing the amount of time before your bomb collar detonates by 50%. Probably the most useless perk. Eh, it's tied with uh, Dean Dominoes, I'd say. Honestly, like, you can just run through that stuff. More chips. Yes. Love me some Sierra Madre chips. All right. So I'm going to hold off on using these machines for a while because I want to kind of stack them up. She points at the narrow slot on the side and raises an eyebrow. So I wonder if that dialogue option with Christine Christine, about um, where Elijah was has any relevance. I wonder if you can actually follow that up and find where he is. Um, you know what, I think I'll put an explanation here on the screen right now. And uh, yeah, because that's interesting, because I definitely haven't done that way before. Alright, so like I said, hopefully all of these ghost guys remain dead and none respawn. We did pass the area where we needed to go with Christine, so I think it's just going to be a simple matter of traveling there again. She nods her head upwards and makes the motion of holding a gun at the ready. Do you have a gun? You should have a gun, right? I guess we'll see when we get into uh, a scuffle, if we get into a scuffle. But Dean- Oh! I saw that bear trap. Didn't we? Did we travel up here before? Yeah, we did. I guess we just sort of totally passed it. Alright, Christine, hopefully you can do some- some uh, parkour here because you're gonna have to drop down okay that scared the crap out of me <laughs> but they were not spawning they were just well they were spawning but not uh, refreshed all right hopefully Christine okay there you are all right uh, we don't have Dean's walk through the cloud and be safe perk Christine flicks her finger back and forth okay, I'm not even gonna read that stuff what does that say gala is the only way in yep I'm fully aware okay this marks the place that we have not been yet or have we did we go in through this door switching station no all right inside we go should have probably entered sneak oh well christine's eyes dart around at the walls and the ceiling she glances at the exit and takes a slow breath sweat appears on her brow all right christine crouches down i don't need to know that that's just overboard Okay, we have a whole bunch of quest markers here. Repair the electrical box to gain access to the rest of the switching station. Please tell me that I did not miss a chance to put up my repair to the level that I need to repair these without doing something else. Listen before you lose a head. Oh, a head, right. Okay, so I was going to say, because we get her perk, there's probably going to be some radios around here. All right, let's go out of sneak and let's activate this. The circuit breaker looks to have been jury-rigged at some point in the past, but it's currently in need of repair. We don't have repair 60, and we could have put it up to repair 60. Oh my god. Your repair skill is not high enough. It's exactly what I said. Alright, fix the circuit breaker using parts. You need three electric box fuses to fix the circuit breaker. Wonderful, here we go. And I think there's three different things. So what do we need again? S uh, three electric box fuses. So those must be unique to this DLC, because I don't remember ever seeing that stuff. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for those. They're not going to be in the fire hose box, right? Nope, just a tire iron. Okay. Let's see. So I don't know what those things are supposed to look like. And I don't know if we're supposed to find them in here. Christine's counter frequency is temporarily blocking the speaker. Oh god, this is going to be so annoying. Let's save the game. Because I don't want my head to blow up and then I have to backtrack. Even though it probably auto-saved when we entered this place. And... Let's go ahead and run through here. This door won't open. It doesn't look like there's any power running to it. Where did I see a power generator? Here. 
but we need to activate it first. Huh. Well, let me figure out what the hell we're supposed to do. Wow, so there was actually a Fixin' Things magazine on top of this, whatever you want to call that thing. So that means we can use that and get a temporary increase of 10 to our repair. And I was like, man, I really wish they did put a repair magazine in this place. And they did. So look at that. Now we can activate this. Jerry rigged the circuit breaker. After a few quick adjustments, the power comes back on. Which means now that door opens, but... Okay, tick, tick, tick. Okay, we need to shoot that. And I think we may need to... Um... Okay, what's going on here? Why am I moving so slow? I think we may need to fix... What is this? Can't activate it. Treasures are mine. What is this? Programmer's Digest. We don't need that. Okay, what I'm saying is I think we need to uh, fix two more circuit breakers or something. Maybe not. So we're going to have to move through this pretty swiftly here. And there's another radio happening somewhere. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. It's going to activate any second here. Where is it? Don't make me jump down there. I don't want to jump down there, but it looks like we might have to. I don't know where the radio is! Oh, God. Okay, there we go. Thank God. Okay, Christine nods at the toxic cloud below that makes a walking motion with her fingers and slowly shakes her head. So she doesn't want to do that, or can we not do that? Fixing things has worn off, so either way. Um... So let's see. Let's figure out where, we're the, where the hell we're supposed to go here. Might be another instance of save the game and just trial by error, so let's save the game. And let's run through the stuff as quickly as possible. Uh, I'm not really sure where we're supposed to go. Are we out of the cloud? Yeah, we are. Alright, so maybe Christine isn't going to follow us. Can we even go over here? No. I guess it's going to be one of those things where you need to, like, move through locations that have the cloud and then take a breath in locations that don't. Although this doesn't seem to lead anywhere. We are trying to get over there. Alright, so let's do this again. Is our health draining? It is draining. Holy crap, it's draining really, really, really fast. Alright, let's go into our menu. Use some stim packs. Okay, so yeah. I think we took the long way around, but let's get the hell out of that cloud. Alright, we have an arrow leading to the right, but it wants us to go left, right? Let's go to the right really quickly see where this goes. There's another radio. Oh, that one's shielded. Son of a bitch. Okay. So we need to do this fast here. Uh, dynamite. We don't really need dynamite. There's a magazine down here. That's not a magazine, actually. And a terminal that's locked easy. So let's try and do this. I see you. I see you. And our science is 100, so this should be a sure thing, right? Yeah. So ladders. There we go. Yeah, I forgot. Once we put our science so high, it's like a sure thing anyways. Okay, turn speakers off. Ooh, sweet. Status report. We don't care about that. So, our caller's gonna stop, stop beeping. You can see this guy didn't have as much luck, and his head is blown up. Treasure's mine, assholes. Oh, there's a tripwire here. What in the world? Oh, because we don't activate the traps. That's right. Do I even want to activate that? Not really. I'm not sure what trap is gonna activate, but we're just gonna go ahead and leave. Because, uh, yeah, there's no point to mess around with that. But turning the speakers off... That was probably a great boon, unless it only affects, unless it only affects that one that we just activated. Because if that's the case, then it doesn't really matter at all. Christine's eyes dart in the direction of the screeching sound. She looks frightened and trembles slightly, as if fighting the urge to run. Right, because the auto dock sort of uh, messed her up pretty bad. Okay, we have a terminal here and a first aid box. I probably should be taking these purified waters. In fact, I am. Because we can use any health increasing things that we could possibly get our hands on. In fact, let's go ahead and drink some of that water right now. Delicious, even though it's not going to heal us by too much. Okay, let's see what this terminal does. In case of emergency, second shift suits are here. Bunch of backstory. Let's search this desk. Find nothing. Let's search this box. It's actually locked. Force lock is 100%. Sierra Madre chips. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end this episode here. Thank you for watching. In the next one, we will finish Christine's path and likely trigger the gala event. Gala? Gala? However you want to pronounce it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.